Ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen and ladies, ladies and gents. Hey, I just wanted to take the time to take the time to take the time to tell you. Tell me what? Why are you going through all of you? Why don't you just tell me? I was watching Chris Unseen. Unseen. He's seen now, but he's not seen seen. He's unseen. Chris Unseen from the YouTube channel Choice, C-H-O-Y-C-E. I don't know why. He just did it that way. I didn't tell him to do it that way. I wouldn't have done it that way, but that's Chris. That's his style. So, ladies and gentlemen, as you can see, Choice, C-H-O-Y-C-E. He's got Chris. Where you at? He's got five videos, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, he wants to be unseen, but that's him right there. How can he be unseen when he got his photo all over the internet? Huh? That don't make no sense. I told him that, but he didn't understand me. I think he'll get it eventually. Now, by the way, ladies and gentlemen, he's giving you guys a formula. Not Dr. Dre and <laughs> that wonderful old Rich people oh, keep secrets. Hold on now. Him. You're not going to keep a secret? You're going to tell everybody? See, he's going to tell y'all everything, so you can't trust him. Because he's going to just tell you everything. You can't trust nobody who won't keep no secret. Come on now. He's going to tell you all the secrets. Hey, YouTube said they don't like my cuckoo. They don't like it. You, you, ad blockers are not allowed on YouTube. Well, see ya. It's allowed on mine. I, oh, let me show you. It covers a big one. I don't care about no stupid notice step. from them telling me ad blocker. Ain't no law saying I gotta. Hey, shut up. Shut, 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 shut up. She gotta shut up. I don't like her. All right. You don't tell me whether or not I can have an ad blocker. I don't have no contract with you with that. Sorry. Apologize, ladies and gentlemen. There's a lot of stupidity in our world right now. Now, I am, I'm actually on a sugar high. Just have me some orange juice. And you know, if you want to get some sugar, you just have to drink orange juice. Well, my mom is from the 70s and she says she could get sugar from other places. You know, like get, 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 get Christy Love sugar. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, so that we can get to the point. I told you all, this is the year of the lawsuit. <laughs> you know what I realized? There is some information I need to show y'all. Y'all need to understand this. Now, give me a sec. I'm going to have to pause y'all to get to where I need to get to. Close out. Close out. Hold on. I got to get back to y'all. Give me one second, okay? I got to go. Hey, y'all remember this fool right here? Binance founder pleads guilty to money laundering. Yes, he was accusing everybody else of money laundering. Apparently, this motherfucker sit up here and sign a plea agreement saying that he money laundered. $4.3 billion. Our money. I've already filed a lawsuit against him. He's one of the main characters in the lawsuit. I ain't leaving him out. Ladies and gentlemen, the SEC lawsuit that I got into that they're going to try to push it underneath the rug because they're going to get a settlement and all that. I'm just waiting for the suit to end. I already told them, people, I'm appealing because the court said, no, you ain't got no rights here. I'm like, you better believe I got some rights. I got proof the SEC is not government, which means that they cannot apply that congressional uh-oh, somebody in trouble. Now, let me let you guys know what's going on. I'm going to say something right now. I'm still on a sugar high, but I'm going to say something right now. I'm going to be completely serious. I know what I'm capable of. I know what I have the ability to do. I told everybody that nobody had done what I'm doing right now, the SEC and Binance. Binance owned one of the crypto trading companies that we trade in. Plus, they owned one. We believe that they were merging with the company we do with Barry. And they got upset. He got upset because people were complaining and saying that he was a fraud. And so he shut everything down and then canceled the deal. Well, it turns out that he didn't have that right to do so. And everybody else abandoned ship because they didn't know how to hang in there. I talked to Barry White. He told me to hang on in there. He even called me baby. And I told Barry, I ain't your baby. He said, man, I don't mean baby like that, okay? I mean baby like the baby, all right? What, Barry, you don't, how you know the baby? Man, say, like, I, I, I'm, I'm into that stuff, all right? I listen to that stuff. That's where you think they got their music from. I said, Barry, man, you the man. He said, you better believe it. I ain't the baby, but I am the man. I'm like, Barry, man, you, you all right. And, you know, that was the end of that conversation with Barry. Now, let's get back to Binance. Ladies and gentlemen, this idiot, and he is an idiot, just signed a plea deal where he pled guilty 
for money laundering, that means that he misappropriated funds. And I know the way the government does their plea deals, they had him admitting to all kind of bull. Ta da! Case one. Case one. Oh, by the way, <laughs> when he did it, <laughs> oh, he was the CEO of the largest crypto trading platform on the planet. The CEO. Who do you think is responsible for his actions? The largest crypto trading platform on the planet. Hey, you guessed it. So, uh, oh, you mean you can sue them now because he's already guilty. And oh, they'll probably settle now, huh? You better believe it. You see, I kept telling all of our people, hang on in there. Now we still got a little ways to go. Okay, because he hasn't he hasn't actually been sentenced yet. He can't pull the plea now because he pled in open court. He took out a bond. And the bond he took out was a personal bond of I think $154 million to guarantee that he will show up in court. Now hold on now. 18 months in prison, which means he will do a little bit over a year. Literally a year and two months. Because it's federal. Federal is 85%. Okay, he'll do about a year and two and a half, three months. And he'll be back out there living on his billions. But he won't have as much millions. He has billions now, but he won't have as many millions by the time I get finished. Now, mind you, I want all of you to pay attention. The SEC wants you to pay attention. He agrees to pay $4.3 in fines and restitution to the government, not to the people. How are you going to restitute the government? The government wasn't hurt. The people were hurt. None of this money goes to the people. That's why I joined the SEC lawsuit, because they're supposed to be representing the people. They gave him $50 million in fines. $50 million. Then they said, you owe another $4.3 billion. I'm not getting in line. I was already in line. That's why I filed the suit into the case anyway, to stake my claim. Now, of course, Binance eventually will go bankrupt. They'll have to, because they can't afford this. See, Binance also pled guilty and agreed to pay $4.3 billion. Binance is getting ready to go bankrupt because they have to do reorganization. They can't afford to lose this much money at one time. This will kill their reputation. But if they go bankrupt, it'll kill their reputation too. No, it won't, because remember, FTX is getting ready to start a new all over again. Pay attention. So I was doing first in line, first in right. Pay attention. That's why I filed into the case, and that's why I filed under the laws I filed under. And I am going after the judge. I am sorry. I, I I don't have it up. Uh, I'm going after quite a few people. Ladies and gentlemen, lawsuit. This is a lawsuit day. I just printed up the one for... Well, the Binance company, that lawsuit's already filed, but I just printed up the one for the SEC and the district court because I'm suing judges now. Oh, you better believe I'm suing judges. I'm getting them for impersonating judicial officers. I'm putting the fact that they are corporations. Corporations are not allowed to hold judicial proceedings. Corporations are not part of the judicial branch. There is nothing in law giving them the right to operate as a corporation. So I'm going after them for impersonating judicial officers. Then I'm going after the state of California. You want to sit up there and take away my so-called ability to do whatever I want for two and a half years and then think it's okay? And then you want to purposely destroy all of my legal documents? Ladies and gentlemen, over 17 boxes worth of electronics, computers, everything. They just threw away. So I, well, I, I suspect they threw it away because they definitely claim they don't know where it is. But I don't care if they find it now, because I am charging them $600 million for it with me. I told them to leave me alone. Now I get to go after them. Aren't you afraid? I'm not afraid of nothing. What they going to do? <laughs> I'm sorry. Let me let me explain something to you guys. You guys you guys here with me for a moment? All right. Now, those of you who are listening to the beginning of this, that's all I had to say to y'all. Y'all can get on out of here. I'm going to talk to my people right now, okay? 
So that, that beginning part was for you. But let me, I, I got something I wanted to talk about anyway. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to show you something. Y'all hold on a second. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is the New World Translation, the study Bible. Um, and I'm tired of going back and forth through Bibles, trying to prove to you guys that the New World Translation is translated from the original scrolls and not a translation of a translation. I'm, I'm tired of trying to prove that stuff to you guys. So if you don't, if you can't hold on it, I could care less. I mean, honestly, I could really care less. Honestly, I want you guys to understand something right here. This is what we're going to talk about right here. It says, this is John to the seven congregations that are in the providence of Asia. May you have undeserved kindness and peace from the one who is, who was, and who is coming, and from the seven spirits that are before his throne, and from Jesus Christ. Now, you notice why it says, the one who is, was, and who is coming, the one who has the seven spirits, and before his throne. Then it says, and conjunction, junction, what's your function? Okay, this is a subject changer from Jesus Christ, the faithful witness, the firstborn from the dead. Yes, he was God's firstborn son. He was Mary and Joseph's firstborn. He's the first person to be resurrected from the dead to heavenly life and he's the that's that part right there firstborn from the dead to heavenly life that's that's the last part because he wasn't the firstborn from the dead lazarus was born from the dead before he was come on now there you go and then he's the ruler of the kings of the earth ain't that something but we're focusing on this right here you see where it says the faithful witness a lot of people want to attribute um, Jehovah's Witnesses and they got their start this way and they got their start that way and people don't really understand but we're going to read right here the angel to the congregation of Laodicea Laodicea wrote these are the things that the amen says to the faithful and true witness the beginning of the creation of God the faithful and the true witness is the beginning of the creation of God wait a minute hold on you mean to tell me that it says it there too, as well as Colossians says he's the firstborn of all creation. But we ain't gonna talk about that. That's not what this is about. This is about this word right here, witness. So we're gonna take a trip back. You guys mind if we take a trip back? Like I said, the only thing that I can hold on to is law and scripture. I can't hold on to anything else. Everybody wants to attribute Jehovah's Witnesses getting their start with Charles, Charles Tess Russell. Ladies and gentlemen, Charles Tess Russell wasn't the one who started Jehovah's Witnesses. He started the Bible and Tract Society. Go back and pay attention. Because many of you guys just don't understand because you're listening to morons try to tell you that somebody just got started in the 1800s. No, that is not true. I'm about to tell it to you so that you get it. You know, at first I was going to go there, but we're going to go to the book of Hebrews. We're going to go Hebrews. Yeah, Hebrews. Not he Jews, Hebrews, okay? Yeah, okay. Now, we're going to the book of Hebrews. Now, this is called the book of faith. Why is it called the book of faith? Well, no, Hebrews is not called the book of faith. This is called the book of faith. Hebrews, the 11th chapter. For faith, that's because that's all it talks about is faith, 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 faith. You see, faith, faith. That's all it, faith. <laughs> that's all it talks about is faith. So it's called the book of faith. You see that? You, if you didn't know, look at that. You just learned something. You just learned something. Okay, so this is the book of faith. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you all to understand something. There is this chapter right here, the 12th chapter, because it just talked about all of these faithful individuals, Abraham, Enoch, Abel. It, it, look, as a matter of fact, here's the unique thing about Abel. I promise you, if you don't learn something right now, something wrong with you, it says by faith, Abel offered God a sacrifice greater than of greater worth than that of Cain. And through that faith he received the witness that his righteous that he was righteous, excuse me, for God's approved. Okay. His gift, and although he died, he still speaks through his faith. Well, who was a witness to Abel's faith? Well it says God was a witness to Abel's righteousness, to Abel's faith. He had God as a witness. And through 
that witness, God, he speaks. Ha ha, ain't that something? Pay attention. Abel offered up a sacrifice of greater worth than that of Cain, and through that faith, he received the witness that he was righteous. For God approved his gift, and although Abel, he died, he, God, still speaks through Abel's faith. Right here in the scriptures, we keep hearing about Abel, 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 Abel. Well, anyway, that's not what I'm doing this for. I'm not doing that to show you Abel. What I'm doing is not to show you that for those who speak in such a way, make it evident that they are earnestly seeking a place of their own. And yet, if they keep remembering the place from which they departed, they would have no op they would have had opportunity to return. So we're not talking about these people back then. Mm -mm. We ain't talking about none of them. We talking about these people right here. Why? Because these people were witnesses of Jehovah. Jehovah's Witnesses got their start. Hold on now. Make sure y'all understand because some of y'all are not going to get it. Jehovah's Witnesses got their start way back here, especially with this one right here because he was definitely a witness of Jehovah. No, I'm, I'm going to show it to you in just a second just so that you get it. See, Jehovah's Witnesses didn't just choose the name Jehovah's Witnesses. Okay, look. By means of it, these men of ancient time had witness born to them. They were all witnesses of God. Go ahead. When you read it, you'll see it. I didn't make this up. This is not something I created, but we're going to talk about it for just a second now. Just a second. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to the 12th chapter. Uh-oh, I skipped it. So then, because we have such a great cloud of witnesses surrounding us, let us also throw off every weight and the sin that easily entangles us. Do you guys know what the sin is that easily entangles us? Do you guys know what the sin that easily entangles us? Well, let's watch it right here. And yet all of these, although they received a favorable witness because of their faith, did not obtain the fulfillment of the promise because God had foreseen something better for us, his witnesses of today, so that they may not be made perfect apart from us. Now, hold on. I know some of you thinking something different because you believe something different and taught something different. I'm going to show you something different. Ladies and gentlemen, the sin that easily entangles us is a lack of faith. That's a sin. A lack of faith is a sin. You didn't know? Well, what? let's pay attention. And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us and look intently at the chief agent and perfecter of our faith. For the joy that was set before him, he endured a torture stake, despising shame, and he sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Sorry, you got to get rid of that. Indeed, consider closely this one who has endured such hostile speech from sinners against their own interests so that they may not get tired, or you may not get tired and give up in your faith. Ladies and gentlemen, the sin that easily entangles people is a lack of faith. I don't believe. Faith is based on belief. A lot of people talk about what they don't believe. So let me tell you something that you should believe. Again, now that we have so great a cloud of witness surrounding us, these are the witnesses that surround us by their faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, by faith, they passed through the Red Sea. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell. By faith, David, Jephthah, Samson, Barak, Gideon, Samuel, all of these individuals by faith. Hold on, we ain't finished yet. Got two more things to show y'all. We are going to be going back to Isaiah. I know people pronounce it Isaiah, and I'm so sorry. That's more of an English pronunciation than it is a original pronunciation. Ladies and gentlemen, we can go to Isaiah, and we, we, you, we, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to 43. 43. As a matter of fact, two days ago, my twin, well, we're twins now. Me and my twin sisters are twins. They are the same age as I am. And they will be that way for the next month. Well, less than the next month. 
we have about 28 days where we are each the same age. And then after I turn the next age, then my other sister and I are twins until she turns the next age, which would be in what year is that? I mean, not year, but a uh, month in February. Anyway, let us talk, ladies and gentlemen. We go to the 43rd chapter. Now, remember, this was written in about the 7th century BCE, before the Common Era. Some people say before Christ's execution, but it is BCE, before the Common Era. Ladies and gentlemen, 700 years before Christ was born, this was written. We're going to go to number nine. Look, all the nations assemble in one place, and let the people be gathered together. Who among them can tell this, and who can cause us to hear the first things? Let them present their witnesses to prove themselves right, and let them hear and say, it is the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, all the other nations, all the other people, come forth, bring forth your witnesses. And tell us the things that haven't happened yet. And tell us how all the first things got here. Tell us how the earth got here. Tell us how man got here. Tell us everything. And then provide proof, again, to prove themselves right. So provide proof of what you're saying. Now hold on. This is what this person says. You are my witnesses. You see, he was calling his people his witnesses, pay attention, for thousands of years. He didn't just start calling them his witnesses. If they're his witnesses and he is Jehovah, declares Jehovah, then they are Jehovah's witnesses. That's where the name comes from, people. They didn't just make it up. They didn't just invent themselves in the 1800s. What does he say next? Yes, my servant whom I have chosen. It is he who gave them the name. They didn't make the name up themselves. That's why you don't see anybody else being called that on this planet. Hold on now. Don't take my word for it. Go and take a look. So that you may know and have faith in me and understand that I am the same one. Before me there was no God formed, and after me there has been none. I am Jehovah. Or it should say I. I am Jehovah. The reason why you have that dash there is because... There are some manuscripts where there was extra language there that wasn't in the older manuscripts. And so that line is to indicate that that information could not be verified and or confirmed. And thus, I, I am Jehovah. Besides me, there is no Savior. I am the one who declared and saved and made known. When there was no foreign God among you, so you are my witnesses, declares Jehovah, and I am God. I am one of Jehovah's witnesses. I witness about Jehovah. I witness about the things that he has done, about how the world was formed. See, I witness about the first things, and I use his word and reality to prove it. I just wanted to take the time to be able to finally explain this to people without making worrying about their feelings, worrying about how they were going to take it. Because that's what the problem has been all this time. I've been worried about whether or not people can handle, literally, the truth. The Bible calls Jesus the first faithful and true witness, says Abel was a witness, Enoch was a witness, Moses was a witness, Abraham was a witness of Jehovah, i.e. Jehovah's witness. So when you claim that somebody got their start in the 1800s CE common era, then you are absolutely wrong. I know Anno Domini. No, it is common era or Anno Domini. They both mean the same thing. CE and AD both mean the same thing in the year of our Lord. Look, one person has had so great an impact on the entire world that the whole date chronology changed. Everything changed with his birth. Everything. We changed the whole dating system for this entire planet because of one person. And then people want to claim that he didn't exist. He doesn't exist. I.e. 
the Son, the one who is the firstborn of all creation. The one whom we just read in Revelation. Let's see if we can get back there. Oh no, we were there. That's this one right here. To the angel of the congregation of Laodicea, right? These are the things that the Amen says. The faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. If I click here, it's going to take us to Colossians. Let's go there. Colossians, he is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. God was not created. But it talks about he had a firstborn. Who is the firstborn that he's talking about? Well, if you read the context, beloved son. If you read the context, it's talking about the beloved son. He is the head of the body of the congregation. There's only one person who is that, and that is the Christ. Because God was pleased to have all fullness dwell in him. Who's this him? Let's click on this footnote. Colossians 2, 3. Hey, what do you say? Carefully concealed in him are all the treasures and wisdom and knowledge. Ah, look at that. Your faith in Christ Jesus. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm not making this up. It's right there in all of the Bibles out there that are from the original translation. Go and read it for yourself. Don't take my word for it. Literally, take what I just showed you and go look it up for yourself. Go confirm what I just said. Don't call me wrong. Don't say, oh, I don't want to hear that. Don't say, you're wrong. You No, you don't know. Don't do that. Go look it up. See if it says the exact same thing and then prove me wrong. Bring forth your witnesses. Bring forth your evidence. Bring forth your proof. Prove me wrong. Exactly what he said. Come on, nations. Prove me wrong in these last days. Okay? That's what I say. Now, again, like I said, I'm on a sugar high. I'm about to go lay down because it's been a very long day. I am working on lawsuit after lawsuit after lawsuit. Why? Especially small claims. Me and small claims, we're going to get to know each other. I'm going in several states in small claims, and I'm going full-fledged with other lawsuits, and I am not holding back, and I'm not going to sit up here and cursey. I've already told several judges on paper I am not cursing to a single one of y'all. I am not bowing, and I am not bending a knee. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, I will never bow to a single man on this planet. No, wait, I got one other thing to tell you guys, okay? And I know some of you are going to really understand what I'm about to say. According to the scriptures, when Eve and Adam were here on this planet, they sinned. Eve sinned. And God said, hey, your craving and your desire will be for your husband. Said that. Okay, he said that your craving and your desire will be for your husband, that man, that Negro. Well, he didn't actually say Negro, but y'all know what I mean. And ask, ask yourself this question. Isn't that the truth? I know someone will say, no, it ain't. I never did it. Whatever, shut up. Just, just shut up because that doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. Okay. That doesn't make any sense. We're going to go to the curse of the woman. That's verse number 16. I will greatly increase the pain of your pregnancy. Every woman on this planet can recognize that. In pain, you will give birth to children. Your longing will be for your husband. And guess what he will do? He will dominate you. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not just me who will not bow to another man. It's just about every man on this planet. Go look every movie. Every movie, when somebody asks someone, kneel to Zod, how there's resistance. Because man was never created to dominate man. Now, I'm not saying they're supposed to dominate woman. He did not say, and I am giving him the command to dominate you. No, man will dominate woman out of imperfection. That's why Paul says a man is to cherish his wife and treat her as his own body, to love her as himself. Man is not capable of doing that in their ignorance when they don't understand that it is sin that causes them to dominate women or dominate anyone else. We were not created to dominate anything other than animals. You don't believe me? Well, let's do that. Uh, Genesis, the... It's the second chapter. It's the second chapter. It, well, it's actually, no, it's not the second chapter. It's the first chapter. Verse 28 and 29. God said, I have given you 
every seed bearing plant that is on the entire earth, including weed. No, he didn't say nothing about weed. Y'all get that out of your head. Well, anyway, that's not a plant. It's a weed. Okay. It says, and every tree with seed bearing fruit, let them serve as food for you. And every wild animal of the earth and every flying creature of the heavens and everything that is moving on the earth in which there is life, I have given all green vegetation as food to all of them. But remember, for man, he told them to fill the earth, subdue it, and have in subjection to dominate the fish of the sea, the flying creatures of the heavens, and every living creature that is moving upon the earth. Men are not creatures. Pay attention. Creatures he's referring to here are these creatures, these lower species. Man was supposed to dominate them and the earth. They were never supposed to dominate each other or women. It is as a result of sin that man dominates woman. And man, it was never intended. All right. So, again, if you didn't know these things, I'm sorry. If you did know these things then what are you doing to help change it? What are you doing to help change it? What are you doing? You're doing your part to not fall into sin by trying to dominate someone, including your significant other? I don't know. I just know that I am breaking my neck to make sure that that's not the case. I don't want to rule over anybody. Although there will come a time when I will be considered as doing just that, it won't be my mindset. I don't want to rule over anyone. I don't mind people being my equal. Oh, you know you don't have no equal. No, you know, no, ain't nobody your equal. No, nobody. No, 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 no. You're not gonna. No, you're not gonna convince me nothing else. Mm -mm, and you ain't got no equal. <sighs> Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, he's back. He came back to visit. I apologize. Well, anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I really have been wanting to have this conversation with quite a few of you. There's been so much going on. There, you know, there's so much information out there to share with you. But I can't just be about information, and I can't have you guys thinking I'm about just information. I am going to talk from time to time about the things that I care about. And you know what I care about? This right here. I care about my God. I care about his word. I care about telling people what it says. I don't care about preaching to you. I don't want to preach to you. I just want to show you what it says. You make the determination as to whether or not you want to hold on to it. If you want to click the video and say, oh, I didn't have enough. I don't want to listen to that. Then by all means, you can do that. Nobody's, I'm, I promise you, I'm not going to get upset. Okay? But from time to time, I'm going to have these conversations. Do you know why? Because people have asked me to. I don't mind having it. And like I said, there are only two things that I have a hold on for the time being. Law and Scripture. That's it. I don't remember nothing else. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you right now. I can't tell you what I did today. Literally, I have to really, really focus and think about, okay, I worked on the lawsuits partially. Uh, I did something else today. Come on, come on, come on, come on. What I, oh, I put the lock on the door. I, I changed the lock on the door. That's it. But you saw I had to think about it because it's not there. It's not readily on my mind. I literally have to. I can't. Don't even ask me what I did yesterday. Uh, today is Tuesday. Okay. Or Sunday. And yes, I have to do that. I have to focus on the day to remember because in my mind today is Wednesday. Some part of today I thought it was Thursday. It's the operation. There's nothing I can do about that. I, But. Oh, but you, 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 all the other stuff you remember. Law and scripture. Go and listen to the videos. You'll see when it comes to the law, I can run that junk down to you with, without a beat. And pay attention. Most of them have never studied. I just got to finish talking to a group of people today. I just don't remember because this is why I'm talking about it. It's because I remember talking about it today. That I was proving things to them about this whole paying debt. Yes, yes, yes. I created, with the help of a young man who asked for a consult, he was telling me something. 
and I misheard him. And when he told me I misheard him, and I thought about it, I said, you know what? No, wait, hold a minute. That that will work. I can't. I can only give you the fact that I said I would give him the credit. Because of that conversation, if I had not misheard him, I would not have figured something out that literally eradicates that. I've given it to the companies. We're doing it for all of the Amerilegion, AMCF, and uh, what's that group? Uh, the, the DAP, DAP. The, what is it? Debt, debt Acknowledgement Program. And we're working on the secure and one's properties, the Fourth Amendment people. We're working on all of this at one time. But what I need to make sure, if it wasn't for me talking to that young man and getting it wrong, I would not have gone at it at this angle. We were going at it partially at this angle, but not directly at this angle. I, it's hard for me to explain because of what we're doing. But because of the conversation with him, I was able to fill in a piece that I had not filled in. In other words, we were covering everything, but we had not covered everything on the table. And we had to fill that piece in in order for the puzzle to be complete. And ta-da, uh, I told them even that information I didn't have any knowledge of before. Not until he brought it up that I actually focus on it, think about it, and say, you know what, that will work. And then I realized all the other pieces that went together with it. So most of the conversations I'm having, ladies and gentlemen, I've not studied this stuff before. I give him the credit. This one who calls himself Jehovah God, the self-proclaimed and the self-named. Almighty. He's the one who called himself these things. I'm not there to argue with him. What? I, what proof can I bring that he's not the Almighty? What proof did I, can I bring that he's not the only true God? There is nothing I can say to him to change what he has said about himself. Because I don't have any evidence or proof to the contrary. He said, bring your evidence and proof. I ain't got none, so I can't say nothing. Okay, the people who do walk up and speak in ignorance, he ain't listening to them. Witnesses come to testify, and they can only testify as to facts. You can't testify as to what you believe. I love the Doobie Brothers. What a fool believes. You can't testify as to what you believe. You can only testify as to facts. And I cannot challenge him when he says he's the only true God, when he says he's the Almighty, when he says that he is Jehovah, the sovereign Lord of the universe. If you don't believe me, go to the book of Ezekiel and look at how many times that he says, and the nations will have to know that I am Jehovah. He's about to prove himself, but when he proves himself, it's going to be too late for so many people because he says he's going to force everybody now, that's pretty interesting that everybody is going to be made to know who he is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for allowing me this opportunity. I do really, 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 really appreciate it. And now it's time for me to go lay down, watch me some of those Star Wars. I'm watching a Star Wars Cinemaramic or whatever the thing is called. Okay. Hey, Brent's going to go up. I don't know what he's going up to, but Brent's going to go up. Anyway, uh, it's uh, the video games, Star Wars video games. And it's when they take the video game and they take just the scenes, the actual scenes where they're actually acting and talking, and they just play that, and they play it like a movie. So I've been watching that stuff lately, and it's, it's been entertaining. I mean, literally been watching it for the last four days. Not just Star Wars. Uh, we I, There's a particular series called, dang it, and it's 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 not a series that most people would watch. Uh, watch, it's, uh, what is it, The Watchers? No, not The Watchers, but it's, now I can't even think of it. Hold on. I got to turn on my computer to get that to you people. But I think it is Overwatch. Overwatch. And I, they only have two uh, films that they put together. Really one. But the only problem is, it's not enough. I do like Overwatch. I think Overwatch, if it was a series, a game, I don't know. I've never seen it. I don't play video games. But if they did do it, Overwatch is very unique. 
there are so many different ways they can go with Overwatch. So I like Overwatch. But uh, the Mandalorian and all of that, I've been watching that stuff, and I've been enjoying it, people. Because ain't nothing on TV. All my shows is on hiatus right now. Because the next season is over. Because, you know, they're doing these little short eight episode seasons. There ain't nothing out there for me to watch. Don't suggest nothing because I haven't seen everything I want to see. Just wanted to tell you guys that's what I've been doing lately. And I'm about to do that to go defocus. I have to unfocus from all of this legal stuff, all of these videos, all of you. So that I can, in the morning, refocus. Because I need to be able to wind down. So that's how I wind down. So thank you guys for when I woke up this morning. The song I was listening to was a group called High Energy. Energy spelled with an I. You can't turn me off right in the middle of turning me. Now I know, I know some people say the song has a overtone of something else. No, I'm going to tell you that I've never listened to it like that. When I hear the words, I'm not listening to it that way. Because my mind doesn't go in that direction. Okay? I'm listening to the words as a play on words. Because she's ready to learn, ready to learn, ready to learn. Okay? So, high energy. The first thing I did was downloaded the song this morning and listened to it. Because it was a song that came into my head. And so I was doing Confunction, uh, Bobby McFerrin, and I did not know Bobby McFerrin. I wish I had really listened to Bobby McFerrin back in the day instead of the Don't Worry, Be Happy. Okay, I wish I had done that. And Seal, I did not know Seal could sing the way Seal could sing. A Kiss from a Rose, man, that song was nothing compared to the other songs that this young man has sung. And so I've been doing that lately. I've been going over a bunch of old artists, a bunch of old songs, listening to Doobie Brothers, and I, I haven't done Foreigner Chicago. I'm about to do Foreigner in Chicago. Probably have them done in the morning because I'm creating a whole new playlist and literally thousands of songs already, all downloaded from YouTube. Yep, I have on my tablet, it's called YT3. YT, the number three. APK, and that thing does what it's supposed to do, all right, so, oh, I don't know, oh, they don't want me to tell y'all about how to download my videos, Ooh wee if I, if I told y'all that y'all could use that to download, man, y'all, man, y'all, Lord have mercy, y'all wouldn't understand, so, but it's, it doesn't have it on, uh, I, I, what's that, the spy phone, the spy phone, I, oh, iPhone, okay, yeah, it doesn't have it on that spy phone thing, yeah, it's only on the the, the 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 spam droid. Okay, you can only get it on spam droid. You can't get it on the spy phone. Okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. Uh, like I said, it's time for me to wind down. I hope y'all's had a good day. And I want to thank y'all for letting me take the time to take the time. Y'all, go and take the time too. To look that stuff up and see if I was if I was even close to the money. All right, take care of yourselves. Goodbye.